Hello everyone, welcome to Times TV. Today we bring you to the factory of an international luxury fragrance brand that was founded in Oman in 1983. And yes, I'm talking about none other than Amwatch. And joining us right now is Mr. David Crickmore, CEO of the company, who's going to tell us about how not to get tricked into buying fake fragrance of Amwatch. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. Hi, Madiha. Good to see you. Likewise, it's a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you. Uh, could you please tell us how the presence of fake bottles has affected the image and reputation of the brand? Sure. Um, in the last few years, we've been noticing, in particularly shops in Oman and Dubai, there are a lot of shops selling amouage that are not people that we sell to, they are not people that have ever bought from us mm -hmm. and we found that strange. Then when we realised that they were offering goods at 50% discount, we thought, goodness me, that's odd. So we bought some of these goods and I'll lead you to this one, one of our best sellers, Interlude Man. If you look at these two boxes, they look exactly the same. Mm. There is nothing really that would distinguish them one from the other. But actually, I have to tell you that this one here is a fake product. This one is a real product from Amouage. And so they're getting very clever, these fake producers, because what looks like a real Amouage item is not. And we're, of course, worried not just about the fact of our brand reputation in terms of it being discounted at 50% in some places, but we're also worried about what's in this because we don't know. There's a health issue here and these are chemicals that are being used and we don't know how those chemicals will affect the consumer. Right, so, and talking about these fake products, um, what, as an end user, what distinguishes between the fake and original product? You know, because tourists are coming in in Oman and they would want to know how to get the original product. The first thing I would say is that as an international brand, Amouage never, ever is on sale anywhere except for a sale that we have in our factory sometimes to clear out ends of lines or sales that we have in Harrods and Selfridges in London. That's a historical thing. Otherwise, if you find Amouage at a cheaper price anywhere, then you can pretty much guarantee that it's not a real product, that it's this type of product, which is fake. The fragrances smell the same when you initially try it. But we've worn these fragrances, the fake ones, and they last for between 10 minutes and an hour because basically they're mixed with water. If we just look inside the boxes at the bottles and the caps in particular, there are telling signs that tell us which is the fake and which is the real. The first is, if you look at the sides or feel the sides of our bottle, the real bottle, you will feel that the waves, amouage meaning waves, are much deeper on the real bottle than they are on the fake bottle because it's a very difficult thing to produce uh, in glass. The next thing is, if you look at the caps, and they're getting very clever because now the caps almost look identical. But there is a little trick that we have that can't work with this one. If you see, I can put this cap back to front. I can put it anywhere I want. It is magnetic, yes, but I can put it anywhere I want. With the Amouage cap, because we have a special uh, thing with inside that is about opposing poles, we can't put it on the back because it always swings round to the front. So that's just one of the little things that we put into our product to make sure that people can identify that this is the real product. Nevertheless, I'm sure eventually, and especially now I've said this publicly, I'm sure eventually the fakers will even be doing that. So you cannot trust any product, and I repeat again, that is discounted. If it is discounted, then it is not coming from us, from Amouage the House, and you should be buying your product only at our shops or at the Muscat Pharmacy shops or at various tourist sites like the Grand Hyatt, the Chedi Hotel and Beit al -Zubair. 
Right, so, so many of the products that are caught in the market are actually available in the UAE. What's happening Indeed. in Oman and other markets? We have recently found another 5,000, or the police in the UAE have recently found another 5,000 pieces of fake product that is coming from the UAE, of course, into Oman, because they realize that the market is greatest in the world, really, for Amwaj in Oman, and the UAE uh, is the sort of central hub where a lot of these producers, they may come from China or Turkey or various places, they will ship them into the UAE and then the UAE sort of consolidates them and ships them out. So I would say that we have had now three court cases in the UAE for fakers, but we haven't yet found the manufacturers. We've only found the middlemen. Our aim is to find the manufacturers and sue them because not only are they using our copyright, you know, all these designs are registered, they're our copyright, the bottle designs, the cap designs, even the brand name, everything is registered and they are completely ignoring that and going against it. If you look at this product, yes, from afar it looks the same, but what I can tell you is that the putting on of these little logo buttons is a very, very skilled thing. We only have very few people that do it. And on this one, there's glue all over the place. So actually, to me, it's very obviously fake. And that is what's happening. The UAE are taking these products, them having been made from wherever, and they are distributing them through the Gulf, but they're distributing a lot into Oman. So I would just continue to repeat, do not buy products from Amwaj that are discounted by 30, 50%. Because if you do, I guarantee you, you are putting yourself at risk of buying a fake. Uh, so please correct me if I'm wrong. This is not the first time that that has been going on in the market. Not at all, not yeah. at all. I mean, there are other products here you can see where um, there are varying degrees of, um, what's the word, of, of cleverness, I suppose is the word, in copying what we've done. But, you know, some of them are making caps in plastic, very lightweight things that just go anywhere, that don't have the magnetic and actually don't really hold on the thing. But, you know, if you look at these two together, and you're a lay person, mm -hmm. you might say they look very much the same. The same with these two honor men's. Now I know that the fake one has a completely different colored Swarovski crystal from the real one. I know that the fake one has a very um, pitted finish, whereas ours are very smooth and very beautifully sprayed. The fake one has chips on the two, on the four corners where it's been held in the tray whilst it's been sprayed. We have a very different process, so ours is perfectly done. There are so many things. The cap of this one is on the collar and says the name Honor Man, as always. And of course, I've told you about the cap not being able to move. This cap is on an internal collar and, ha and did have Honor written on it, but because it goes straight over the top, it's actually worn off the honour. So, very poor quality. So, what steps is the company taking to eliminate this problem? Elimination will be very difficult because the more successful amouages worldwide, the more people will want to copy it. That is what happens, I'm afraid, to luxury brands. We all know the story of the mm. fake Louis Vuitton bags, for Absolutely. example. However, uh, where possible, where these people are being found, and we get advice regularly from the Dubai police particularly, but wherever these people are being found selling fake products, we are prosecuting them and we will continue to prosecute. We have people that monitor these cheap shops around Oman and particularly around Muscat. They monitor them regularly and we buy product there are people that they won't know because we just use other consumers that are incognito, but they go and buy products. We then know, A, whether they're fake, and B, whether they should be prosecuted because they are perpetrating the use of, uh, of going against our, controverting our copyright. Right, and now, sir, as you're aware of, with the rise of e-commerce and now social media platforms available as a marketplace, how are you combating through these platforms? 
E-commerce and social media, as we know, is the advertising and the PR of the future. But it is a double-edged sword. The problem with it is that so many people now have the ability, with algorithms, to link up sites. If you're looking at fragrance, or if you're looking at Amouage, or you're looking at another brand, now the algorithms pick that out, and they can then suddenly start feeding you adver advertisements from these people who are purveying these fake products, inferior products. And I see it a lot online. If I switch on my computer, I often see Amouage, 50% off, and then I start looking at it, and I realize that it's one of these um, non-authorized retailers purveying probably fakes. It's hard to tell, obviously, as you can see. It's hard to tell just from a photograph whether they are, but um, that's, that's the... the uh, the way we look at it. We want to pursue prosecutions against people who are contravening our IP. Right, sir. So lastly, what is the takeaway for consumers of Amwatch? The takeaway is caveat emptor, buyer beware. Be careful with what you're buying. Don't think you're getting a good deal on Amwatch. There are no good deals to be had other than perhaps at the duty free because Amouage does not go on sale anywhere in the world, as I've said previously. So if you are offered Amouage at cheaper prices, be very, very careful, because we are concerned not about just our reputation, but as I said earlier on, we're very concerned about the health of the consumers buying these products. We don't know what's in these chemicals. They are made by unscrupulous people who couldn't give a, a, they really don't care about the, the, the clients they're selling to, and I just think you need to be very, very careful. There is no such thing as a good deal on Amouage. If something looks too good to be true, it nearly always is too good to be true. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking to us. It was a pleasure having you here. You're very welcome. Thank you for coming and seeing us. It was a great pleasure, sir. For more interesting videos, keep watching Times TV.